Good afternoon and welcome to Grace and Holy Trinity Cathedral. The order for noonday prayer can be found in your digital bulletin or on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Innocents. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 124, found in your bulletin, or on page 782 of the prayer book. Psalm 124, let us read this in unison. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel now say, if the Lord had not been on our side, when enemies rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us up alive, in their fierce anger toward us. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us and the torrent gone over us. Then would the raging waters have gone right over us. Blessed be the Lord. He has not given us over to be a prey for their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 13 through 18. When the wise men had departed, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt. And remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing in loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they are no more. Thanks be to God. Today is the Feast of the Holy Innocents, commemorating those innocent children killed by Herod, who was hoping to find Jesus. If you remember when the wise men first go to visit Herod, they said, we seek a king. And Herod said, well, I'm the king. And they said, no, this one is to be born in Bethlehem. And Herod says, when you find this king, tell me so that I may go and pay homage, which was just his way of saying, so I can go and destroy him. But of course, the wise men did not go back to Herod. And then we hear the outcome of this here and what Herod's actions were. Herod, the great ruler of the Jews, appointed by the Romans in 40 BCE, kept the peace in Palestine for 37 years. His ruthless control, coupled with genuine ability, has been recorded by the Jewish historian Josephus, who describes him as, quote, a man of great barbarity towards everyone, unquote. An Idumean married to the daughter of Hyrcanus, the last legal Hasmonean ruler, Herod was continually in fear of losing his throne. It is not surprising that the Magi's report of the birth of an infant king of the Jews would have caused him fear and anger. Although the event is not recorded in secular history, the story of the massacre of the innocents would have been in keeping with what is known of Herod's character. To protect himself against being supplanted by an infant king, Herod ordered the slaughter of all male children under two years of age in Bethlehem and the surrounding region. From antiquity, the church has consistently honored these innocent children as martyrs even though they were quite obviously not Christians, 
because they were killed by one who was seeking to, seeking to destroy Christ. Augustine of Hippo called them, quote, buds killed by the frost of persecution the moment they showed themselves, unquote. I'm also reminded when I think of this feast or we celebrate this feast today of a poem written by John Donne called The Flea, having to do with the holy innocents. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. We remember today, O God, the slaughter of the holy innocents of Bethlehem by King Herod. Receive, we pray, into the arms of your mercy all innocent victims, and by your great might frustrate the designs of evil tyrants and establish your rule of justice, love, and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. We pray for all innocent victims of violent crimes. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.